bookworms, I'm Becca and today I'm doing an original book tag. So right now it is summer in the United States where I live and there is one show that defines summer for me and a lot of people and that show is the US version of Big Brother. So if you don't know what Big Brother is, basically it's a summer long show where 16 people get put in this house and then whoever is the last one standing basically gets half a million dollars. So each week people are evicted, they battle for power, there's usually like a theme and this summer's theme is temptation. So I'm basically living for this season and I love this show so much. There's a bunch of different questions and they're all formulated to kind of mimic like an experience of you being in the Big Brother house and different things that you would encounter. Let's get started, I'm really excited. Question number one, there's not numbered, but question number one, you just found your Big Brother house key. What three books are you bringing into the Big Brother house? So if you need some explanation for this, basically like the season premiere each year is a two night premiere and they all find these like keys with their names on it and that's how they know that they're in the Big Brother house. So you just found your Big Brother house key. What three books are you bringing into the Big Brother house? I thought long and hard about this. I thought about just picking like really big books off my shelf to bring but I ended up going with a trilogy because I thought that I could read it at my leisure and it would probably get me through the summer I'm sure because there's other things going on. So I chose the All Souls trilogy which is A Discovery of Witches, Shadow of Night, and ooh, The Book of Life all by Deborah Harkness. Okay. So, you're finally in the Big Brother house with all your fellow housemates. Choose a book with an eclectic cast of characters. I think that one's pretty self-explanatory. So, I chose The Lake Effect by Erin McCahan. Yeah, some of these characters are kind of kooky and I love them. This is probably one of the most real books that I've read lately. So, basically one of the first things that all of the house guests do the first night that they're all in the house is they go around and they introduce themselves and I always joke because there's always one person in there that is using a preschool teacher as their career and like lying about their career to make them seem I don't know so I always joke that I wouldn't even have to lie because I'm I'm actually a preschool teacher but anyway this question is you introduce yourself as a Big Brother Uber fan. What book or series are you totally obsessed with? You guys know this isn't much of a surprise. I could have went with two, but I decided to go with The Merciless by Danielle Vega. This trilogy just gives me so much life and makes me want to pee my pants because it's terrifying. So each week the house guests compete in this competition called the Head of Household Competition and that the person who wins that is the HOH and they have all the power in the house that week. They nominate the two people that are going to be put up for eviction and everything so it's a really big competition. So this question is the head of household competitions test your physical power and mental power. Which book has a little bit of everything for you? So I chose Queens of Geek by Jen Wild. This book has a little bit of everything and that's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know, it's about these three friends that go to a convention that's kind of like VidCon. And yeah, lots of things happen. There's also some Asperger's rep in it, so that was pretty cool too. Okay, so basically then once someone wins the HOH competition, their HOH room is decorated with pictures of their family since they don't get to see them all summer. So everyone's always like, who wants to see my HOH room? So this question is, you just won your first HOH competition. Who wants to see my HOH room? What's your favorite reading spot? Right now, I read in my living room a lot. I have a really comfortable couch and love seat in there. So the next question is, some other house guests want to form an alliance with you. Choose a book with a great family dynamic. And I just did another book tag where I talked about The Hate You Give and I could just rave and rave about that one. So I decided to go with another favorite of mine, which is The Family and 
the To All the Boys I Loved Before trilogy by Jenny Han. It's just such a great family. I love their dad and just how close the sisters are. And yeah, I really like it. Okay, so obviously when you put 16, like 20 somethings in a house together, things are gonna get a little steamy. And I don't think there's been a year where there hasn't been a showmance. So this question is, Things are heating up in the baby house and showmances are starting to form. Choose a book with your favorite romance. And another one I just I just had to go with, A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Bernard. It's just so good. Ugh. It's like the most believable romance that I've read in forever. And it totally puts like all other young adult romances to absolute shame. So then after the head of household competition, it's time for the nomination ceremony where people are put up on the block as possible people to be voted out of the house. So this one is, it's time for the nomination ceremony. What two books would you nominate for eviction? So basically when people put other house guys up for eviction, they like have reasonings behind it. So I decided to nominate these two books for the same reason. Okay, I am nominating You, Scarlet by Marissa Moyer and You, The Last Star by Rick Yancey. Both very good books. I love the series so much. Much, but unfortunately I have to think about my reading game here and I've been taking a long time to complete you guys so you guys have one more chance to kind of prove yourself and compete to get me to finish you otherwise I'm booting you guys out of the house. So after people are nominated, then there's another competition called the Power of Veto competition, where if you win that power, you have the power to veto one of the nominations, basically. So this one is, it's time to pick players for the Power of Veto competition. Which book character would you want by your side? And typically these competitions, like some of them are physical competitions, some of them are mental competitions, like all of them in Big Brother. So I decided to pick a character that I think is hella well-rounded and would just be boss at any competition that she set foot in. And it is Hermione Granger, of course, from Harry Potter. So after all of that, it's now time for the live eviction ceremony. Which book would you cast your vote to evict from your shelf? And like the books that I just nominated, I picked one that is really affecting my reading game, and that is Stephen King's It. I cast my vote to evict It because it is so huge, there's no way that I'm ever going to finish this one. So it's gotta go. So one of people's like favorite parts of the summer is when this robot comes in, Zingbot, and he like zings people, so he basically like roasts them and it's really funny. So the Zingbot has entered the house again. Choose a character with a snarky sense of humor. And I went with Brooklyn from The Merciless, specifically The Merciless 3. So it was it's hard to pick characters with this sense of humor because I feel like every author tries to write their character with like a sarcastic and snarky sense of humor. And then basically halfway through the summer they start this thing called the jury house. So for the first half of the summer once you're evicted you're evicted you go home. But in the second half once you're evicted you go to the jury house and then in the finale the people in the jury house vote on who from the final two is going to be the winner of Big Brother. So it's a really big deal to make it to the jury house and once you're there you kind of just relax for the rest of the summer. So this question is, you made it to the jury house and now just want to relax by the pool. What book is the perfect poolside read? And I've talked about this before, but I chose Remember Me by Sophie Kinsella. And I read this when I was on my cruise like two years ago. And it was like on the beach day, so I definitely read it. I almost read the whole thing on the beach that day. It was so good. So maybe you didn't make it to the jury house because this next question is, by a unanimous vote, you've been evicted from the Big Brother house, but at least you get to see Julie Chen, who's the host of Big Brother. What book always cheers you up? I went with To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This is just such a cushy, cozy trilogy and 
it always puts a huge smile on my face because it's just like sugary sweet and amazing. I love it so much. So then the next question is, the Big Brother motto is expect the unexpected. What book is more than it seems? And I just talked about this, but this is always the book I choose for questions like this. And it is Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. Because the description on the back cover just gives like the bare minimum of the story and I could not believe while I was reading it how much more depth there is to this book so yeah it was really good and I do need to read the rest of the series because this was like my favorite book from last year or the year before or something like that and yeah it's amazing it is so good and it basically wouldn't be big brother without people trying to make deals with each other especially final two deals so this last one is you've gotten close to some of the house guests and want to make a final two deal who are you going to tag peter from peter likes books because he loves big brother and i think that he would really like this tag i hope he does it and then i'm also going to tag sam from sam's nonsense because I talked with her on Twitter in the beginning of this season. We were like tweeting each other about things that were going on so I know that she watches Big Brother. And basically, if you like Big Brother and you're a fan of Big Brother, please do this tag because I want everyone to do this tag. I think it's so much fun. So yeah, there you guys go. That is my original Big Brother book tag. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and tell all your friends to do this book tag. That is all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.